What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you a super way of multiplying two digit numbers. And once you get really good at this trick, you can do these calculations mentally. So imagine if someone asked you, what is 21 times 31? You could roll your eyes, think for a few seconds and confidently say 651. And how cool would that be? But before we proceed, let's quickly see where this trick works and where it doesn't. So here are a few examples. Now these are valid cases where our method would apply. They are valid because both numbers are two digit numbers. In all the other invalid cases, one or both numbers are not two digit numbers. Alrighty, let's jump right in and see our trick. We will use it to find the value of 21 times 31. Let's first write down both numbers. Now, we start with the numbers on the right and multiply both digits. So, 1 times 1 is 1. And we put that down first. Ok, now pay attention to this step please. We then do a cross multiplication of numbers. So, we multiply 2 with 1 and 1 with 3. 2 times 1 is 2 and 1 times 3 is 3. We then add these results. So, 2 plus 3 is 5 and we write that down. And finally, we multiply the digits on the left. That is, 2 times 3 which gives us 6. And yes, this is our answer. 651. Let's try this out again with another example. What is 21 times 52? As before, we write down both numbers like this. We then multiply the digits on the right. So, 1 times 2 is 2 and we write that down. We then cross multiply. So, 2 times 2 is 4 and 1 times 5 is 5 and we then add both numbers. So 4 plus 5 is 9. Let's write the result. And finally, we multiply the numbers on the left. 2 times 5 is 10. That gives us 1092, which is the correct answer. I hope these two examples have given you an idea of the concept. So let's tackle a slightly tougher question, shall we? What is 52 times 43? First, we write down our numbers. We then multiply the digits on the right. That gives us 6. We then cross multiply the digits. So 5 times 3 is 15. And 2 times 4 is 8. And 15 plus 8 is 23. So do we write down the 23? No, we don't. We write down the 3 and carry over the 2. Please make a note of this. And then as before, we multiply the left digits. So 5 times 4 is 20. But we have this 2 here, which we need to add to the 20. And that is our answer. 2236. Now that we have completed three examples, it may make sense for you to do a few on your own. So I am going to write down two problems here. 81 times 11 and 42 times 33. Why don't you pause the video and try solving them? I'm going to assume that you got the answers. I'm not really concerned how long it took you. We all have different learning styles, so time is not of concern at the moment. The important thing is that you know how to use this method. So how about ending this session with one last example? What is 26 times 23? Ok, let's go. We multiply the digits on the right. 6 times 3 is 18. Now what do we do? Yes, we write down the 8 and carry the 1. We then do our cross multiplication. 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 6 is 12. 6 plus 12 is 18. But hey, don't forget the 1 we carried over. So 18 plus 1 is 19. Now what do we do? Again, we write down the 9 and carry over the 1. Finally, we multiply the left digits. 2 times 2 is 4. 
and 4 plus 1 is 5. So our final answer is 598. As you can see, the carryovers have certainly made the problems tougher. But hey, the solution is still much faster than the traditional way taught in schools. Don't believe me? Why don't you try it out and see for yourself? So this brings us to the end of the session. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found it useful. Thanks a lot guys and bye for now.